NBC 15 News starts now. Hello, I'm Kate Pavish. Thank you for joining NBC 15 News on the web. Here's a look at the stories we're following for you today. The Packers and the Seahawks are in Seattle today to vie for the NFC Championship. This game will decide if the Packers will be in Super Bowl 49. Yeah, you got to play really well. You, know, you got to take care of the football. You got to play great defense. You got to. Um... NBC 15 News starts now. Hello, I'm Kate Pavish. Thank you for joining NBC 15 News on the web. Here's a look at the stories we're following for you today. The Packers and the Seahawks are in Seattle today to vie for the NFC Championship. This game will decide if the Packers will be in Super Bowl 49. Considering Aaron Rodgers' health status mixed with the Seahawks' defense, this could spell trouble in today's game. The Packers need to do whatever it takes to beat an almost untouchable Seahawks team at home. Yeah, you got to play really well. You, know, you got to take care of the football. You got to play great defense. You got to um, you got to complete passes. You got to move the move the chains. You got to score touchdowns in the red zone. But uh, it's no different than any you know any road game against a good football team. And we've played a lot of them this year. We've had our ups and downs. We've won some close games. We've lost some close games. But uh, we've competed all the way. And we expect nothing less of our guys. We're going to go in there confident and knowing we got to execute the right way. But uh, feeling confident we can do that. The NFC title game will kick off between the Packers and Seahawks at 2.05 today with the winner heading to Phoenix for the Super Bowl. A scary situation on the Beltline near Mineral Point early this morning blocking the eastbound lane for at least an hour. Madison police say an officer was on the side of the road waiting with a motorist who needed a tow. The two women were sitting in the squad when a pickup came crashing into the rear of the car. Police say that pickup was driven by 25-year-old Eduardo Diaz Martinez. They say he got out and started running, crossing the Beltline and hopping a fence. The officer had just been hit, got out of her car, and started chasing after him. He was eventually found outside a nearby apartment complex. Police say luckily there were only minor injuries. And with ice rescues being all the talk today, the Wisconsin DNR is warning winter sport enthusiasts to watch out for unstable ice with warmer weather heading our way. The DNR says it's best to call a local fishing club, snowmobilers group, or bait shop before going out on the ice. Temperatures are expected to climb up pretty high in some areas today, which might affect ice thickness. DNR officials do not monitor local conditions due to Wisconsin's large number of lakes and rivers. Well, who will the 2016 GOP White House candidate be? Well, Wisconsin will play a part in that decision. One of the nine Republican debates will be held in our state. The debate will be in November, but the Republican National Committee did not immediately announce a location. This all comes as Governor Scott Walker is thinking about entering the race, but Congressman Paul Ryan from Janesville has said he will not run. Well, that's a look at the stories we're following for you today. Be sure to join us at 5 and 10, and be sure to click on Amy Carlson's webcast weather.